G'day viewers, welcome to TFU Friday, the end of the week where I like to brighten you up, get you ready for the weekend with the cheering news, the world is truly, totally fucked up. And uh, the first story I'm going to bring you today is one that actually broke about two weeks ago, and I was going to talk about it back then, it got pushed out by some other things, but I wanted to bring it up because it helps explain why Aidsy's not with me at the moment, why he's in hospital. You see, back in around 1910, the famed and doomed Scott of the Antarctic expedition happened. And something that's just come to light is a study done by a scientist on this expedition, someone who actually survived the expedition, and it was uh, basically about sexual depravity among penguins. Now, when he wrote it, it was so shocking to him, he was so appalled at what he saw. When he wrote it down, he wrote it in Greek. So if it fell into the hands of ordinary people, assuming not ordinary Greek people, but he's thinking of ordinary English people, uh, they wouldn't know what it was and it wouldn't corrupt their minds. Greek, eh? Something Freudian going on there. But I thought when I first did sexual depravity in penguins, maybe it was just a product of the time. The guy was so conservative and squeamish about sexual matters that it's just he's uptight. And to us in the modern age, it wouldn't seem that bad. And he writes about how gangs of young male penguins roam around terrorising the colony with their acts of constant sexual depravity. And I was like, oh yeah, like what? And he points out homosexual behaviour among the penguins. And I thought, yeah, obviously, he's just saying, like, that's the worst thing in the world. There's uh, homosexual activity among penguins. Totally fucks up a lot of uh, religious arguments against homosexuality like uh, several other examples in the animal kingdom, but I thought, if that's it, really, it's just outdated. They went a bit further. Uh, apparently he also saw quite routine sexual abuse of chicks by the males, and he even witnessed male penguins trying to mate with dead females. I thought that sort of thing really only happened in some of the seedier nightclubs. But there's penguins out there going, Ah, oh, the bitch wants it, I'm telling you. Which brings me to why Aidsy's not here. He's a wear penguin. Uh, if he, I only let him on camera when he's in his semi-human form. But if he's exposed to Arctic snow, turns into a sexually depraved penguin. That's my theory, anyway. It would explain a lot. I actually don't know who'd be more at risk if it was Aidsy being bitten by a penguin that caused the problem, or Aidsy going around biting penguins that was the issue. Actually, I think I know which way would likely have the worst result. But, you know, uh, not wanting to dwell too long on animal sex, just a little bit longer. Uh, I mentioned a while ago, um, Florida was pushing an anti-bestiality law because apparently it was required Thanks, Florida, for requiring anti-bestiality laws. And there was actually a case reported this week where there's a prosecution going ahead, so they knew what they were about. But there's a fear this guy would get off on a technicality uh, because it says the police came across photos of him engaging in sexual acts with his girlfriend's three-legged dog. I love that detail, by the way. Um... And he might not be successfully prosecuted because the law doesn't specifically say there's anything wrong with oral sex with animals. Which is apparently what was in the photos. And I don't know how the police came into possession of the photos. Where were they? On his Facebook profile? Come on, Florida! What's this about? Look, on the plus side, you know, it was a female dog. He's not a queer, okay? Don't judge! My God, what's wrong with you? And in case you're just worried about the... It's not all animal sex, is it? No. No. Uh, the, I think I possibly have a new benchmark, a new Hall of Famer for Totally Fucked Up. And thank you, Terry, and everyone else who sent this to me, that Octomum Nadia Suleiman is doing, has done, porn. This is 
bizarre on a number of levels are when she was at the height of her notoriety in about 2009, the stories are going around where one porn studio was offering her a million dollars to do porn, which she said she wouldn't do. Uh, another porn studio was offering a payment to not do porn. They said, it's really not in your best interests. You'd be better off not doing it, which I think was really just a publicity ploy, but eh, you know. And so now she's doing it, and some people are saying like, oh, she's sunk even lower. Now, I know there is some social taboos about porn. How is this sinking lower? Seriously, after everything she's done, after the horror of parading herself out on those trash, trash, so-called reality shows, which, to my mind, are just the scourge of society, porn's a lot more honest, quite honestly. People say, oh, you know, think of the kids. No, 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 no. You know, she's obviously not thinking of the kids. Her behaviour for the last couple of years shows that. In fact, you know, choosing to do porn is one of the least offensive things she's done in the last three years. So, you know, it's not so much, to my mind, it's not so much that uh, porn is bad for Octomum, it's Octomum's bad for porn. That's, see, yo, no, that's, that's not doing it for me. No, bad Octomum. And, uh, you know, I'm just worried that on set, you, you know, Ugh, how, how do you direct on, ugh, just thingy, and the website, yes, I'm going to pollute your mind with a link, although you don't actually really see anything on this link, they want you to pay to see anything, which is several different kinds of insane in my book, but <laughs> what, what do I know, um, there's a behind the scenes video too, which is where it really blows my mind, if you're on the set, just the director going, uh, quiet on the set, quiet on the set, why did you have to say that twice, I didn't, I said it once, because after the eight kids, her vagina echoes. Keeping it classy on TFU Friday. <laughs>